All right. Hello, everybody. I'm just going to give things a second to settle in. Welcome, everyone who is watching. Uh, my name is Elizabeth, and I am a librarian at uh, AADL. And usually, you probably see me telling stories at the library. Um, but today, I am at my house, and you are probably at your house. Um, but that's okay. We are going to do story time just like we usually do. And if we want to get ready and say hello to everybody, if I can see your hands, bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam, let's say hello as high as we can. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. And this next one is the one that at the library we cover our ears for. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Well, thank you to everyone who is watching Storytime this morning. If I can see your hands, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little. Do clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, lay them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creepy, creepy, creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah. But do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Just like this, this, this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Blow a little kiss. Well, today we have some excellent stories for you. And I want to show you that the letter that we are doing today is the letter B. Let's think of some things that start with the letter B. I am thinking about bagels. Yum. And I am thinking about bananas. Not as good as bagels, but still pretty good. And I'm thinking about baboons. But we have B stories today because we have stories about bears. And here is my friend Bear, who's gonna help us with a lot of our stories today. So let's take a big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. Give yourself a hug. Can you tap your knee and tap your nose? And can you find your ear? Where's your ear? And find your elbow. One more big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. All right, we are going to tell our first story today, and this one is called 
I have a little problem, said the bear. Well, one day, bear woke up and he was not feeling very good. He gave a big sigh. <gasps> And he decided that he would walk into town and see if there was anyone there that could help him. So he walked into town and he went into a store and inside that store was an inventor. And Bear said, excuse me, I, I have a little problem, you see. I do see, said the inventor. I can see exactly what your problem is. A heavy bear like you needs some wings to make him lighter. Here, put on these wings and you will feel much better. Oh, well, okay, said Bear. And he kept on walking down the street. The next store that he came to was the store of a tailor, which is someone who makes clothes. And Bear walked in and he said, excuse me, I have a little problem, you see. Of course you have a problem, said the tailor. You're not wearing any clothes. Here, put on this scarf and you will feel much better. And he helped Bear tie the scarf around his neck. Oh, okay, said Bear. And Bear left and walked down the street. Bear went into another store, and this was the store of a hatter, someone who makes hats. And Bear said, excuse me, is anyone here? I, I have a little problem. Yes, you do, said the hatter. I think that your problem is that you need a hat. Here. And she gave Bear a very big and fancy hat. Oh, okay, said Bear. And Bear walked down the street. The next door that he came to was someone selling jewelry. He walked in and he said, excuse me, I, I have a little problem. You do have a problem, said the jeweler. I think you need something very nice to wear around your neck like this necklace. Here you go, now you'll feel better. Oh said Bear, and he walked down the street. Bear decided to go visit a doctor's office, and he walked in, he said, excuse me, I have a little problem. Oh, yes, you do, said the doctor. Here, take these vitamins, one in the morning, one in the evening. You'll feel much better. Go ahead. Okay, said Bear. He took a vitamin, but he did not feel any better. He kept walking walking, 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 and he decided to visit another doctor, this one, an eye doctor. He walked in, he said, excuse me, I have a little problem. You see, yes, I do see. Actually, I'm sure you can't see at all. You better put on these glasses. Oh, said Bear, and he walked down the street. He saw one more store to go into, and he walked in, it was a shoe store. He said, excuse me, can anyone help me? I have a little problem. Yes, you do, said the shoe seller. You are not wearing any shoes. Here, put on these nice orange sneakers and all of your problems will be solved. And the shoe seller helped Bear put on the sneakers. Oh, well, Bear was very sad. No one had really helped him. He slowly walked to the top of a mountain and sat down. He took off the shoes. He took off the hat, the glasses, the necklace. He unwrapped the scarf and he took off the wings that the inventor had given him. And he gave a great big sigh. <sighs> Just then, a little butterfly came flying. Oh, you don't look very happy. What's the matter? Oh, it doesn't matter. Nobody will listen to me anyway, said Bear. Oh, that's not true. I I'll listen to you, said the butterfly. 
No. Really? Yes, go on, tell me. Well, I, I have a little problem, said the bear. You see, my cave is very dark, and I'm afraid of the dark. And I was hoping I could find somebody to be my friend and maybe come live with me. Oh, that is a big problem, said the butterfly. But you know, I've been looking for somewhere to live and your cave sounds very cozy. Maybe I could come live with you. <gasps> really? Oh, that would be wonderful, said Bear. And the two friends walked home to Bear's cave just as happy as can be. The end. Thank you all for listening to our first story. I bet you all were wonderful listeners, even though I can't see you. And we're going to do a little ride, if I can see your thumbs. Last night and the night before, a lemon and a pickle came knocking at my door. I ran downstairs to let them in. And they threw me in the garbage bin. What? Last night and the night before, a chocolate chip came knocking at my door. I ran downstairs to let it in. And he threw me in the cookie tin. What? Last night and the night before, a crocodile came knocking at my door. I didn't go down to let him in. I fell asleep with a great big grin. Well, I guess I can't actually take a nap because we have some more stories to tell today. And this next one is called Sleep Big Bear Sleep. And in case this isn't obvious, I am going to be a big bear. Oh. Well, Old Man Winter knew that it was time for Bear to go to sleep. So he called out, Winter is here. Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Bear was kind of hard of hearing. And so he thought that Old Man Winter said, Drive a Jeep, Big Bear, drive a Jeep. So Bear went to his friend's house and borrowed their Jeep and drove around town. And oh, he yawned the whole time. Well, Old Man Winter saw Bear driving around and he said, Bear, winter is coming. Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Bear could not hear very well. And he thought winter said, sleep, Big Bear, sleep. So Bear went to his friend's house and found a broom and swept out the whole garage. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And ho! Oh. Oh, he gave a great big yawn. Old Ben Winter saw a bear and said, Bear, winter is coming. Sleep, big bear, sleep. But Bear couldn't hear very well, and he thought that Winter had said, Leap, big bear, leap. So Bear went and found his friend Frog and played leapfrog, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit for a long time. Oh, Winter saw Bear and said, Bear, winter is coming. Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Bear was kind of hard of hearing and thought that Old Man Winter said, dive deep, Big Bear, dive deep. So Bear walked to his favorite lake and he dove into the water and then he swam to shore and dove again and swam to shore and oh he was getting so sleepy he rubbed his eyes 
and he yawned again. <sighs> well, old man Winter saw Bear and said, Bear, Winter is coming. Sleep, Big Bear, sleep. But Bear could not hear very well. And he thought Winter said, climb a mountain, Big Bear, steep. Big Bear, steep. So Bear walked to a mountain and he climbed all the way to the top. And oh, he was so tired. He, he wanted to lay down for a nap right then and there. But he turned around and stumbled back down the mountain. Well, Old Man Winter was fed up. He blew a great big cold breeze whoosh, and called out, Hey, Big Bear, did you hear me? Winter is coming. You're tired. You need to go to bed. Oh, said Big Bear. Well, it would be nice if you had said that before. And Bear walked straight to his cozy den. He put on his PJs, he blew out the light, and he went to sleep. The end. Nice listening, everyone. I bet you are doing such a great job in your own house. Well, I think if you want to stand up, you can. We are going to go to the moon, stretch our legs a little bit, stretch our arms, and this goes like this. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five. Four, three, two, one, blast off! Let's try again. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! All right, let's try one more time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! All right, we have a couple more stories to tell today, but first, can I see your fingers? I have ten fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Do you want to see? I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. I can squeeze them tight. I can open them wide. I can wave them all around. I can make them all hide. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. All right, we have two more stories. And the next one is actually a book called Glad, Glad Bear. All right. Bear is glad. He has new leggings and new slippers. And a new tutu. Today is dance day. And that 
makes him very, very glad. Yay. Then Bear is not so sure. He feels a little shy. And he feels a little afraid. And he feels a little different. But when the music starts, Bear begins to feel light. And bubbly. And twirly. Then Bear is dancing. When the music stops, Bear takes off his slippers and his tutu. The teacher says, thank you for coming. And Bear is very glad that he did. The end. All right, everybody, we are going to do our last story today. And this one, is called Brown Bear in a Brown Chair. And I am going to be the chair, so I have to get myself brown. Well, there was once a brown bear who sat in a brown chair. And he always was upset because people would sit on him, oof, because they couldn't see him since he was brown and the chair was brown. I am feeling so flat, said Bear. Mm, really a bear should be happy and poofy. Maybe if I didn't match the chair, people wouldn't sit on me so much. So one day, Bear said to the little girl who owned him, Maggie, hey Maggie, I have an idea. Can you tie a bright ribbon around my neck? Sure, said Maggie. So she got a nice yellow ribbon and she helped Bear tie it around his neck. Ooh, that looks nice. But when Spider walked by, he said, wow, that's a nice ribbon, but aren't you cold? You're kind of naked. Ooh, said Bear. I guess I am. Oh, uh, Maggie, hey Maggie, can I have some pants? Sure, said Maggie. So she got out her sewing machine and she sewed Bear a nice pair of pants. And she helped Bear ooh, put them on. Come on, Bear. Oh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. there we go. Very. Nice. Well, Bear was feeling pretty good until Cat walked by. Meow. Oh, hello, Bear. Those are nice pants, but you know, if you're wearing pants, you should really be wearing a shirt. Oh, I guess you're right, said Bear. Maggie, hey Maggie, can I have a shirt? Sure, said Maggie. So she got her sewing machine back out. And she carefully made Bear a shirt. And she helped him put it on. Ah. Well, Bear was looking quite dapper now, he thought, until 
dog walked by. Woof, woof. Oh, bear, look at your new clothes. But you know, you really need some shoes to complete your outfit. Bear nodded. Dog was right. Maggie, hey Maggie, can I have some shoes? So Maggie found some shoes that her little sister used to wear and she helped Bear put them on his feet. Oh, Bear was all dressed up. He was feeling really good until Mouse scurried by. Squeak, squeak, Bear, you look really nice in your new outfit, but you know, if you really want to be fancy, you need a hat. Oh, Maggie, can I have a hat, please? So Maggie found Bear a hat and she put it on his head. Wow, Bear was totally dressed up. But just then, Parrot flew by. Bark, 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 bark. Bear, what are you wearing all this for? You look like you're in the circus. Oh, well, Bear didn't like that. And he really didn't feel like himself in all of these clothes. So he took off the shoes and the hat, the shirt, the pants, and even the ribbon. And all of the animals were very happy because Bear looked like himself again. And later that day, Maggie's mom made a new cover for the chair. And it was flower printed. Oh, oh boy, said Bear. Now people can see me and they won't sit on me. But there was some fabric left over. And what did Maggie's mom do? She made Bear a beautiful dress out of the leftovers. And everyone was sure to sit on Bear just like always. The end. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for listening today. Let's give ourselves a big round of applause. And I want to let everyone know that every weekday morning at 10 a.m., one of the storytellers from AADL is going to be doing a story time just like this from their house somewhere. So you can absolutely watch all of us every weekday, and we have lots of great stories for you. And thank you again for being here today. Let's give a big wave goodbye. Wave up high. Wave down low. Wave to the side. Wave to the other side. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time.